Last time, you saw us cruise down the Wendover Arm and more at the little basin at the end of the navigable stretch. It's so peaceful here, and now that we're settled in, we're ready for a cosy weekend in the middle of the English countryside. So grab a brew and come and join us. It's fine, look! We're going to be really cute and make cinnamon rolls this morning. How long has it been exploded though? We don't know, it could have been like it in the supermarket or what. It doesn't look mouldy, it looks good still. It smells fresh as a daisy. You're telling me you're not going to eat some cinnamon rolls just because of this? Yeah, it's just that little bit that's like contaminated. I don't think that's how it works. Stop it, we're going back to being aesthetic and cosy and cute. This doesn't look anywhere near as cute as I thought it would in my head. I <laughs> said this looks like poo. It does look like a stain though, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's better now. It was just when you've got like this. Put the montage back and it will be those aesthetic YouTubers that wake up at 6am and bake. <laughs> Half 11. <laughs> Roll your slightly gone off mouldy dough. <laughs> Slice into six equal slices. It's blowing an almighty gale out there today. Look at the wind. I don't know if it's just because we're so high up and exposed. Weirdly though, the boat's not really affected here. I think it must be because the, the wind's doing that. Hmm. Baby's famous cinnamon fingers. <laughs> I'll have them too. You can have that one. Right, Wes. Oh no, you won't like it. Very mm. cinnamony. A bit Paggy. A bit bitter as well. Mm. Get the dust out there. Um clean. It says one to two teaspoons. We're not going to have a repeat from the gingerbread house. Okay. We've only gone and done it. Perfect consistency. Look at that. Just what the doctor ordered. Now we wait. I was not expecting them to look that good. Are they so circular? These definitely They're are. They're perfect. It looks like we've switched them out. <laughs> Get drizzling. Do this one, this one's really oh, sharp. it's too thick. They still look pretty good. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Are we going to eat all of them in one go? Probably. That's breakfast. Whoa. Breakfast to champions, that. That's a perfect lazy Sunday breakfast. Apart from the potential mold. I'm having the bit. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> and they're still warm! I'm so happy. We're heading into Tring, which is a little town nearby. It's very windy though. Here we go. He looks so packed in that coat. I was trying to just get like a really candid shot of you, but you look so full in that coat with all your jumpers and your layers. <laughs> You're like a little tube. Pretty windy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was waiting for you to like turn and go a certain way. Hi, this is all. Matt. Mm. I feel like today we've tried to be good aesthetic vloggers and it just keeps going slightly wrong every time we get a cool shot. Now we're heading into Tring. We're just walking up. It's 
pretty standard road up a hill. Yeah, it's not even a nice, pretty route. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's not even a path. <laughs> you having a nice Sunday? <laughs> Actually quite a big hill, look at the angle. <laughs> Just a little stroll into drink. <laughs> it's so nice just looking all around and just seeing trees and fields and stuff. Really there. It's actually quite far, isn't it? I think it's probably about half an hour. On the way back, we'll go the night, because there is a nice way where you can go down the disused Wendover Canal, but we were like, nah, we'll save about five minutes. It's not been worth it. <laughs> we made it. The chippy's shut on Sundays though. Damn we're, it. we're in Tring now though. Let's have a little look around. I feel silly. The shoe shop's even laughing at us. They're all closed. Oh. Oh, that was an excellent walk for nothing. <laughs> Looks like you, Amy, on the walk here. We found a single shop that's open. <laughs> Open shops and drink for the day. <laughs> Took about seven minutes. <laughs> Don't really know what to do now. I think we're just going to have a mooch to see if there's maybe like a cafe or something. Yeah, have a sit down before we do the long walk. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Most of the shops are shut, so we've come to a little pub to hide away with a pint of coke and the game. Of course. Using the game as a good chance to uh, practice our signing. A gentle hill, a 30 yards climb, or gentle hills. A singular gentle hill? This way. What? <laughs> this way. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? No. I think we're going the right way. It's quite nice walking through the town, but 
it feels very much like we're going the wrong way. And I don't trust Wes's reputation with being in charge of the maps. Amy calls me Mr. Maps when I get it wrong and it's really <laughs> patronising. He always gets it wrong. It's Google that gets it wrong, not me. Just taking the sights and the sounds of nature, Amy. And then you won't care how long you're outside for. I don't want to be walking any more than necessary. That's got to be a good sign. Okay, Mr. Max. <laughs> no, you can't say Mr. Max because we're not wrong yet. There's a right racket going on up there. <laughs> wow, look at them all up in there. There's a fork in the road. So even though we can see water there, it's telling us to go that way. My rule is once you're on the canal, you know that isn't a go. canal yet. It's that's, not. That's a ditch. Let's go this way. You having a lovely scenic walk back? This doesn't look like it's getting more canally, does it? Where's he? Oh no! It was the other way. I actually feel like we would have been home by now. It was the other way. It's this way. Oh, Amy. Maps, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's the factory. We were cruise past. It was about half an hour on the boat. We genuinely made like a 25 minute walk, like a genuinely about an hour and a half. We always feel really bad when this ends up happening because we haven't got Rufus for this. So we don't have the added benefit of tiring him out either. What do you think about the gentle hill route? Easy. Sure we can walk here. Yeah, yeah. It's so far. I'm not a Mr. Maps though, because this is actually just the correct route that we've picked. No, it isn't. That was not 33 minutes. From here on, it's just going to be us trudging down a path for about half an hour. So we'll see you back at the boat. <laughs> We're back at the bridge. That wasn't too bad. We've just, so. we've just been playing our little desert island word game to pass the time. <sighs> Nearly there. Can I take a brick? No. Can I take a balloon? No. Can I take a hamster? Sadly, yes. Oh. Is it things that you could eat? No. You said a wallet. And I said yes. You probably could get for a wallet if you tried it on. Things that I can squash with my shoe. It's things that can be mmm in our mmm. Things that can be burned in our stove. Too much of a clue. That is dark, isn't That's it? That's why when I said when you said hamster, I was like, probably. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> this might be. This might be up there with one of our longest round trip for trips. How long do you reckon it's taken? Like round trip. Well, it's half an hour on the way there. But so that was the the optimal route. I'd say this has genuinely took about an hour. Yeah, it's probably about an hour and a half. Maybe push into two hours when you count for going around the town. So yeah, it might be up there. They were good chips though. We made it! Yay, there she is. Home sweet home. Loads of birdies, wee! Oh, I love it! They're all doing the little formation dances. Look how many! You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's so many. It must be a, maybe a thousand. At least. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Birds are cool, aren't they? Yeah, amazing. Well, look. They're doing a big bet. I love it. 
There's so many more than I thought when we were down there. We yeah. could see them all over the hills. so many oh they're coming I think it's called a murmuration I'm not sure what bird Possibly a starling. I've only very quickly googled it. If you actually know what it is, let us know because I'm very interested. For um, reference, it's about five o'clock on a late February, no, an early February evening. And there's just thousands of them doing swooping, cool moves. So together. many! One of the many benefits of being in the middle of nowhere in a nice, quiet spot. Never see stuff like that in the really built up areas. Not that close anyway. So cool. Bye birdies, let off the go. We're going that way. Whoa, see ya. See ya. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted to come out and do a different activity, but it was a bit too windy and it might rain. But what a look to catch that instead, that was brilliant. We'll have to see if we can do our other activity tomorrow. See you then. <laughs> Yesterday it was too windy and today was supposed to be milder wind so that we could come fly our kite. <laughs> There's literally no wind. There's not an ounce, a breath of wind. We've come up all the way on this hill. I'm not deterred though. I've been telling Wes all day, no Wes, it's not going to work. Once Go on you, then, run! Once you get it up, it's fine, isn't it? No, there has to be wind to keep it up. Run, run! You have to run with it behind you. No, let go of the string and just run. Eh? It'll drag for a bit and then it might just go. Go, go, go! You've got it, Wes. You've got it. Go! <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> you just have to keep a constant speed. Here we go. Here we go. Keep going, keep going! <laughs> faster, faster! <laughs> that was good, that was a long one. Is it flying a kite or dragging it? <laughs> Just running around with a shopping bag behind you. <laughs> She's going again. Hey, there's a slight breeze. Make the most of it, Amy. Where did you go? dinner time now, it's the evening, and we thought we'd just show you what we're having because if you don't already know, we're both vegan and we've got these. They're relatively new vegan steaks and they're quite expensive but Amy found them reduced so we thought why not, let's try them. And they're supposed to be very meat -like. But what? Why would on earth would we want to eat meat? We do get asked quite a lot, why do some vegans eat a lot of like fake meats? Like, if you're vegan, just why would you want to eat anything that resembles an animal? And for us, we're vegan for animals. We just don't like the fact that some of us are die to get the thing at the end. So if you can make it without killing the thing, you're all good. Like, we never didn't like the meaty products. We just didn't like where it came from. So all the fake meats in the world, we don't really care about the health side, whether it's processed, whatever. If it tastes good and it's made of plants, we'll eat it.
Go there. <laughs> what? A mashing ninja on the go. Here we go. Here we go. It's very small. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'd say the flavour is very beefy, but it reminds me more of like a roast dinner beef. The text is mm. more like, yeah, like if you were to Flaky. pull pork or something. Like I wouldn't that. say it reminds me of a steak, but it definitely reminds me of roast beef on like a roast dinner. Yeah. <gasps> it is good, good though. though. That flavour, it's the flavour that's bang on. Yeah. Ooh, well, we improve. Mm. Night! <laughs> <laughs> Attempt two of kite flying. Today we've got wind. It's definitely windy today. We bought this kite from a charity shop. Here we go. Today will be more successful. It's just one of the simple pleasures of life, flying a kite on a hill with friends. If you see a kite in a charity shop, go and buy it. It was only £2.50. Yay! It started raining so <laughs> Quickly get it. Go, go, go. Come on, little kite. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us. Big shout out to the Chip Pals on Patreon and to Kathy and Wayne for the chips today. If you want to see more from us, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we will see you next time.